Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be making an amazing guacamole dip. Yeah, you guessed it, guacamole. One of my favorite things to cook for people. And today I'm gonna to show you a simple method that's good and easy. The ingredients are simple. You're just gonna need four avocados, one jalapeno, one lemon, one lime, one small medium sized red onion. And we're not gonna use all of this cilantro today but I'll show you how much that we use when we chop when we get there. So selecting your avocados is very important because if you get them when they're too green or when they're too ripe, you'll have a really bad guacamole. And honestly, the best guacamole is made when you have the best quality of avocados. So you're wondering, well then how do I know which ones are good to get at the store and which ones are bad? Well, it's real simple, you look for color you want a nice brown on the avocado, and when you touch it, it should have that nice indentation going in like that. See it right there? Yeah, it's nice and soft to the touch, and it's ready to be cut. This is the best quality of avocado that you can get at the store. All right, so we're gonna use about give or take this much chopped up. I just wanna go through and you see how the end has a long stem. You just wanna trim that off. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't like the taste of the stem of cilantro, it's a lot stronger than the actual herb leaf part of the cilantro. And so I'm just gonna take it off. You don't have to do this, but I find that it's a better quality ingredient and tastes better in my guacamole when I do. This is about the final product of what you would like. I got most of the stems off, and I'm gonna show you how I chop this up in a second. All right, it's real simple. You just want to bunch it together as much as you can, kind of like you're rolling it. And then you just want to take your knife and go through it. Almost like you're shaving it. Now you might be like, Chris, I have no clue how to use a knife. Well, it's easy if you just hold it like this, thumb right here, four finger back there, but you really don't need to be that strict. Another technique that you can do when you go through it is you can hold the back end of the blade with your right or left hand, depending on how you are, your other hand right here to keep the blade down, and you just pivot and go through it. Don't go through it too much, just go through it enough to break up the cilantro. You don't want to actually bruise the herb because you can bruise this if you go through it too much. All right, now this is what it's looking like now that it's finally done. Nice and chopped up and it's not bruised. It's real simple, guys. All right, next up we're gonna chop up our red onion. So something I like to do to make this easier to peel is I'll go ahead and chop off the top right there. Throw that away. I'll go to the back side of the onion where the root is and I'll make it in half just like that. So, you can easily peel away that first layer to get our beautiful red onion. All right, so when you're cutting up a red onion and you're dicing it, essentially, you wanna leave the root on. The root keeps it together when you're dicing it so it won't fall apart while you're dicing it. All right, so essentially, you want to come down through the onion, just like that. And you're making these quarter inch cuts going all the way down the onion. You can almost hold the blade at an angle. Oh my God. 
god. And just to let you know, uh, the vapor from these onions will make you cry. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna dice up our jalapeno to be used. So we'll go ahead and just cut off the end right there, get rid of the stem. I like to cut my jalapenos lengthwise, so I start off by splitting it in half right here. Okay, so I almost forgot about our lemon and lime, but you want to go ahead and cut those in half. Just like that. Oop, part of the avocado. All right, it's time to go ahead and cut these in half to go ahead and scoop them off into our bowl. So you just want to go around the avocado like this. Open it up. Now look at that quality of avocado right there. That is gorgeous. Oh, it's gonna be tasting real good. Go ahead and hit the stem. All right, now that we've got them opened up, we're gonna go ahead and take a spoon to get all of the avocado meat out. So go ahead and just scoop it up and around, and it should come out real easy. Whoops. And just plop it into your bowl. All right, first things first. We're gonna go ahead and add our citrus. So go ahead and just squeeze out one lime to the entire thing. I'm making this simple so you don't need an actual lime squeezer, but you can buy a lime squeezer at the store. It'll make this a lot easier. Bam. All right. And this is part of the cooking process that's real intuitive. If you like it real citrusy, you can add more limes. If you don't like your guacamole, add citrusy, you don't have to add so many limes. I like to also add half a lemon too, because I like that nice combination of citrus flavors. All right, bam. And we'll just save this lemon for later. All right, before we do anything further, we need to go ahead and add our kosher salt. So you're gonna to wanna to use about half a tablespoon. Again, this is something that you're gonna to have to taste test. Once you add this and we fold in the rest of our ingredients, you're gonna possibly wanna use more salt or not, really it's up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with half a tablespoon like this. Since we're making this real simple, first we'll use a fork. Everybody's got a fork, right? So you just go ahead and start mashing up your Guacamole. All right, and that's the consistency that I like my guacamole to be, so I'm gonna stop right there. All right, next, you're gonna wanna add a quarter cup of your diced red onions now, just like that. Two tablespoons of the cilantro that we cut earlier, you just want about two of them. And again, with any of these ingredients, it's all up to how you like it, so if you fold all this together and you decide, yeah, I want some more cilantro, I want some more red onion, I want it to be spicier, I'll add more jalapeno. 
well then you can go ahead and do that. It's all intuitive to how you like it. And I only like to put in one tablespoon of jalapeno. All right, when that's all done, you go ahead and just fold all the ingredients in. vibrant. The avocado is just right, which is what we talked about at the beginning. This is amazing. Please go out there and get it for yourself because it is so good. <laughs> 